call this case uh, for arraignment. It's case number 634887-18-CR, State of Ohio versus Lance Mason. I note that counsel are present, uh, both from the prosecutor's office as well as defense. Uh, and by video, I believe, is that you, Mr. Mason? Yes. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, what I'm going to do is ask, uh, first of all, uh, it's my understanding you have not retained counsel in this case. Am I correct on that? That is correct. And uh, the court, based on knowledge of this case so far, uh, is going to appoint uh, Mr. Shaughnessy and Mr. Spellacy as your attorneys. Is that acceptable to you? Uh, yes, if that, yeah, that wasn't my understanding, but yes. Okay, uh, and with that knowledge, there's a couple things they're gonna put on the record. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple things with you, but uh, are there any waivers, counsel, that you'll put on the record at this time? Your Honor, we waive our reading constitutional rights. We waive our client's presence here in the courtroom. We waive the reading of the indictment. And are pleaded not guilty at this time. And I believe we're executing a speedy trial waiver for this As it relates to the uh, speedy trial waiver, uh, does he uh, have that in front of him? Judge, I can indicate to the court that he has the document in front of him. We had the opportunity to go over that document with the judge. We did make one change to that at the bottom of page one and just indicated that said waiver shall be till uh, a date certain, which is September 2nd, 2019. Obviously, Judge, we understand this case will move much faster than that, but we need to put that in there in the months of caution. Mr. Mason, uh, I don't want to insult your intelligence, but I feel compelled to review this with you. Uh, okay. This time waiver uh, that has been signed. Is that your signature on it, sir? Yes, it is. And as you probably know, uh, it's a fundamental right you have under the law, and that is to have the matter brought to trial within a specific period of time, oftentimes referred to as a speedy trial statute. By signing this document, you're giving up that right. And while I've indicated to counsel that it's my intent uh, to move the case along, uh, just out of abundance of caution, uh, we did put in the date of September 2nd, 2019. Uh, do you first of all understand your rights to speedy trial? Yes, Your Honor. And is it your intent to waive the same? Yes. And this is your signature? Yes. I'm going to accept the waiver of time has been signed in open court knowingly, freely, intelligently and uh, we'll sign the same. It'll be filed with the clerk and uh, that'll take care of that. Now, as it relates to the indictment itself, uh, I believe there's been a waiver of the reading of the indictment. That's correct, Your Honor. But you understand, sir, that you are charged with one count of aggravated murder, one count of murder, one count of felonious assault, one count of violating a protection order, one count of grand theft, and one count of felonious assault. Do you understand the charges against you? Yes, Your Honor. Do you wish to enter a plea, sir? Uh, not guilty. Court accepts the plea of not guilty. The court will, of course, have jurisdiction of this case. I'll be meeting with counsel uh, to review a calendar. Uh, counsel, approach a moment.
Mr. Mason? Yes, sir. Uh, you probably are already aware of this, but just so it's on the record, uh, I'm normally down in Stark County, Hall of Fame area, and uh, I was asked by the Supreme Court to uh, handle this case because the judges here in Cuyahoga County had uh, recused themselves. You were aware of that, sir? Yes. And I do have that appointment, and uh, is that acceptable to you, sir? Yes, Your Honor. All right, very good. Uh, as it relates to bond, uh, is there anything, uh, first of all, from uh, the prosecutor's office you wish to be heard with regard to bond? Your Honor, it is my understanding that a recommendation has been made to you by the bond commissioner, by the bond commissioner in the amount of uh, $5 million. We would ask that we have a fair and accurate basis for that based on the nature of this horrific crime and this defendant's actions. And we would ask that you follow the bond that um, the bond commissioner has recommended to this court. Anything from defense counsel? No, Your Honor. I'm going to accept the recommendation, set that bond at $5 million. Any further to come before the court? Nothing, Your Honor. Uh, no, not at this point in time. Anything further, Mr. Mason? No, Your Honor. All right, sir. That'll be all. We stand in recess. Thank you, Judge. All right, counsel, if I could see you upstairs then, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to need one signature from the Okay. Is this, did you? I did. Hi, and you are the court reporter? Yes. Uh, you're my favorite. Oh, well, thank you. Well, that's what I say to all of them down there when they're in front of me. Right. Yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, seeing as you come from Star County, you work with my good friend, Holly Kelsey. Um, she is my favorite. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Especially when she's in my court. No, that's our ongoing joke. Yes, yeah, she's fantastic. Fantastic. And, and let me write your name down. Kristen, K R I S T I N. Do you need a last name? Yes. W E G R Y N. W E G R Y N. Yeah, we're taking the day. Okay, I'll let her know that. Okay.